Good day, everyone. I am Mrs. Helen M. Perlas, a faculty member under the Computer Studies Department of Iloilo Science and Technology University, Niagao Campus. The Iloilo Science and Technology University, Niagao Campus, is a renowned educational institution located at Barangay Ituba, Miagao, Iloilo, Philippines. And this is already my sixth year in this institution. The title of my study is The Impact of Educational Service Contracting Program to Students' Educational Quest. So I'd like to share with you the details of my study. Since 1968, the government has been spending for the basic education of students enrolled in the private junior high schools through the Educational Service Contracting Program. Uh, the ESC program of the government is in accordance to the Republic Act number 8545, RA8545, or the what you call Expanded Government Assistance to Students and Teachers in the Private Education, or the what you call EGASPE Act. It is a partnership program by the Department of Education aimed at decongesting overcrowded uh, public junior high schools in ESC the excess capacities of certified private junior high schools are contracted through slot allocations for students who would otherwise have gone to public schools. So the following are the amounts which is being granted by the government to the EEC grantee. So we have here the grade level. We have grade 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have here the amount no, in the second column. So the amount uh, granted to the ESC grantee in National Capital Region is 13,000 from grade 7 to grade 10. And if they are outside of the NCR, the ESC grantee received 11,000 pesos. And for all other OKEA locations, the ESC grantee receives uh, 9,000 pesos. So it has different amounts you know, depending on the location of the uh, ESC participating schools. Difference between the ESC grant amount and a private school's uh, total fees is shouldered by the grantee. This will be deducted in their uh, tuition fee. To be able to participate in the education service contracting program in formal schooling, the school must have the government recognition uh, it must pass the certification conducts by the Fund for Assistance to Private Education or FAPE. The ESC program of the government is associated with varied issues as it is implemented in the private schools. Uh, the impact of this program to students' uh, educational quest must be known, as well as the issues, uh, challenges, and concerns in its implement implementation thus be study. So the study will be beneficial to the parents, teachers, ESC participating schools, the policymakers, and the future researchers. It aimed to determine the impact of educational service construction program to students' educational quest. And specifically, the study sought answers to the following questions. First, what is the impact of ESC program in terms of students' educational quest? Second, what are the challenges, concerns, or issues in the implementation of the ESC program? The impact of the ESC program to students' educational quest was taken from the responses to the interview questions of the participants who are ESC recipient graduates through face-to-face -face or online. While the challenges, concerns, or issues in the implementation of the ESC program were based on the data collected, through a face to face or online interview with parents of the ESC grantees and the school heads of the ESC participating schools. The study employed qualitative method of research. I use thematic analysis by Brown and Clark to determine the impact of the ESC program to students' educational quest and to determine the challenges, concerns, or issues in the implementation of the ESC program. As to the results, 
the and the results to the first uh, problem or the first question about the impact of ESG program in terms of uh, students' educational quest. I have uh, formulated you know, seven themes under the impact of ESE program as perceived by the school heads, parents, and ESE recipient graduates. So the following are the themes. Theme one, a sense of gratitude. So based on the interview, the participants expressed how grateful they were because of the subsidy under the Educational Service Contracting Program of the government. So the following are some of their sharings. No, first, the I am grateful that I studied in a private school and I am happy that I belong to this program. So without the ESC program, maybe I'm not able to finish my study and I can focus well on my academic career because of worrying financially. So the rest are other statements of other participants. So let's move on to another theme. The theme two is financial security. Education is expensive. The participants expressed how finances burden their daily lives, especially in school finances. With the ESC subsidy, the participants, particularly the parents and the ESC recipient graduate, were able to cope and manage their finances with peace of mind as they support their children's education. So just uh, a statement from uh, Grant, you know, ESC helped me in many in my educational quest in a manner that it gave me and my family a leeway to prioritize other things aside from my tuition like books, uh, school supplies, financing my projects, and other extracurricular activities. Let's move on to another theme. Theme three, advocacy to private education. Many participants believe that private educations or private schools offer more advanced and quality education in the secondary level. Parents were given a chance to afford private education with the help of ESC program. It became more accessible to students, especially in a low-income family. And moreover, the program motivates parents to send their children to private schools. So below are, is just a sample statement or a, a statement from the uh, grantee, from the participant. So the theme for is high-quality education. Every Filipino deserves a high-quality education. The government partnered with a private institution to decongest the public schools in the secondary level through its ESC program. This is to ensure that the quality of education is provided. Private schools all over the Philippines are leading towards high standard education in order to participate in the ESC program. It is indeed a great motivation for this institution to improve their program offerings even better. So the following are, is an example of a statement from the participant. Let's move on to the theme five. So positive outlook in life. This is another theme. The ESC recipient graduates have varied the reactions of the grant they have availed during their high school. They are more motivated to graduate, determined to succeed in life, inspired to study and finish school. And as high school students, they worry less about financial aspects and to their parents who have lighter financial preoccupation because of the ESC program. They were more focused on their studies, which helped improve their academic performance and become happier in their high school life. Other participants seem to become self-directed and responsible students. And the following is a statement from the participant. Let's move on to the theme six. Theme six is faculty retention. One of the worries of the private schools in maintaining the high standard level and ESC certification status is the retention of the faculty, which is an important area of the program. Some of the school participants have issues or, uh, in retaining their faculty as they transfer to the public schools or state universities due to higher compensation, benefits, and security of tenure. With the help of the teacher salary subsidy or the what called TSS of the government, with the ESC program, uh, these problems and concerns of the private schools were minimized. Teacher's salary was augmented by the subsidy, and it somehow satisfies their needs. Some teachers are hopeful that the subsidy will increase and that they have to stay in the private school in order to enjoy it. And this is just a statement from the participants. Let's move on to theme seven. Theme seven is responsible individual. One of the ultimate goals of parents and educational institutions is to produce successful graduates. At some point, 
being successful means an individual was able to achieve his or her goals in life. Some of the participants, particularly the ESC recipient graduates, were able to succeed in life, fulfill their dreams, and were able to help their family by improving the standard of living, and they become responsible individuals. And this is just a statement coming from one of the participants of my study. Those are the seven themes of the first question now in my study. And let's move on to the second question. So this is about the challenges, concerns, or issues in the implementation of the ESC program. There were also seven themes that resulted in the categorization of themes under the challenges, concerns, or issues in the implementation of the ESC program as perceived by the school heads, parents, and EESC recipient graduates. What are those? Let me present it to you. We have here theme one, financial demands. The ESC program has an impact to both the participating schools and the ESC recipients and their parents. In order to participate in this program, the school applicants must invest on. One of the challenges that affect much to the participants, particularly the participating schools, was the financial aspect of the program. There were financial demands on the part of the school in participating to the ESC program because only the students were subsidized. The school don't receive any subsidy out of it. No amount of or financial support whatsoever was given to the school in facilitating and processing the needed documents and requirements of the ESC grantees. Theme 2, FAPE certification pressures. One of the requirements in maintaining the ESC program of a participating school was ESC certifications and recertifications after a certain duration. This process brought so much pressure on the part of the school heads. Some participants shared their anxieties as a, the anxieties they experienced as they prepare and undergo the certification and the recertification. So their ESC will continue to enjoy the grant or their ESC grantees will continue to enjoy the grant. Another theme, theme three, we have low salary. Teacher's salary in the private schools highly depends on the tuition fees and enrollment of the students. The higher the enrollment, the tuition fees, the higher the salaries, and vice versa. Good for those teachers in private universities and big private schools who are much more compensated compared to those smaller ones. Let's move on to the next theme. Theme four, ESC subsidy equality. The guidelines in the implementation of the ESC and the teacher salary subsidy programs in the junior high school as amended in January 2018, provides that the amounts of the ESC grants are changed depending on the location of the ESC participating junior high school. The amount of 13,000 pesos be given to the grade 7 of schools in the national capital region, while 11,000 pesos in the highly urbanized cities or HUC outside NCR, and 9,000 pesos in all other locations. One of the participants expressed how unfair it was to other ESC participating schools in the province. The participants strongly suggested to have an equal amount of ESC subsidy in all participating schools, regardless of the location. Theme 5, Tax Fury. The TSS, or the Vatical Teacher Salary Subsidy recipient of the ESC participating schools, are happy with the assistance of the government. It somehow augments their salary to sustain their ba basic needs. But the participant felt, felt bad no, with the tax deducted on the subsidy of the TSS recipient. Some of them wished to remove the tax. And the following uh, was the sharing of a participant about tax. But I removed it. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the th theme six. Delayed grant. Time element is very important in processing the requirements for ESC subsidy and TSS. First come, first serve basis is the norm in releasing the grant. The early the requirements, the early the release of the subsidy. That's why the participating schools put so much effort in preparing the documents and other requirements to be in the first batch of release. 
the following, but I haven't included the, the statements because I'll be running out of time. So that, therefore, let's move on to the theme seven. So theme seven, insufficient subsidy. The private schools who are participating to ESE program were thankful on this assistance of the government of private education. However, some participating schools still have concerns in its implementation. Being in this program means uh, a lot of demands and requirements which were not compensated. Let's move on. So again, those are the seven themes under the challenges, uh, issues and concerns not experienced by the participants about the ESE program. Okay, so as to the conclusions, the education service contracting program of the government has an impact to students' academic or educational best in the private education. Its impact to the school heads, parents, and ESE recipient graduates must be a motivation to the government to enhance the program policy and guidelines. It is to better respond to their needs. It will have more positive impact in the long run in nation building. And the identified challenges, concerns, and issues in this study show that the program has a lot to improve in order to enhance the impact to students' educational best. So those are the conclusions. Let's move on to the recommendations. I have here recommendations. Recommendation one, the ESE program of the government helps a lot in making the private education more accessible to public for public consumption, particularly those who cannot afford financially. Therefore, it is recommended to take into consideration the formulation of the advocacy program framework for the ESE program. Recommendation two, students are beneficiaries of the ESE program. Therefore, it is very important that they'll maximize the opportunities given to them by finishing a degree. They must also support or initiate a program that provides or improves the quality of education in the Philippines where they graduate. So recommendations three, three. Parents play an important role in educating a family. Therefore, it is a must that they perform their responsibilities in guiding and supporting their children's education to become a responsible citizen of this country. They should further educate their children how to value their studies and appreciate the opportunities provided them to ensure quality education through ESE program of the government. Recommendation four, teachers are frontliners of education and plays a vital role in the teaching and learning process so students will learn and succeed in life. Therefore, teachers must be faithful to their profession with enthusiasm in guiding students and parents towards a better future, and all teachers must be licensed in teaching before teaching, it, may it be private or public. Recommendations 5. Private schools are partners of the government in realizing its educational objectives and goals towards nation building. Therefore, there should be a collaboration and coordination between private schools and the governments towards providing quality education to students across the country and have an impact on their lives as future leaders. Moreover, private schools must be supportive to the programs of the government that pertains to education and must be honest and vocal about the issues that may help government enhance their programs, particularly the ESC and the PSS. So recommendation six, PAC plays an important role in establishing a quality assurance certification mechanism that would confirm ESC participating private junior high schools compliance with adapted standards for recognition. So PAC stands for Private Education Assistance Committee. Therefore, they must ensure that educational service contracting uh, uh, participating schools are capable and true to its commitment to the program. Recommendation seven, the community must support and contribute to the implementation and monitoring of the ESE program to make sure that its goals and objectives were realized. It must show positive environment to better motivate the stakeholders 
actively uh, participate in the program. And to the researcher, the researcher must show enthusiasm and commitment with the findings of her study and willing to share it for the common good. As the impact of the educational service contracting program to students' academic quest or educational quest has been analyzed, it is recommended that related study may be conducted to strengthen the results and develop viable program advocacy frameworks. Specifically, further studies may be conducted involving private schools outside of the first district of Iloilo and using more var variables to ensure its accuracy and integrity. So that would be all about uh, my study and I'm so happy that I was able to share it with everyone. God bless all, God bless us all, and thank you.